Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So after we have seen how we can use the simple queue, now I want to explain to you how we can use the queue tree. So queue tree is more advanced than the simple queue and it is better on the router CPU and resources than the simple queue. Now to do the queue trees or to use them, you have to mark the packets. So for every packet that is coming, we have to mark it and then we apply it to a, a queue. Now, what I'm going to do, I have to mark first the connections and then the package which belongs to this connection will not be marked one by one to reduce the CPU usage on the router. I will explain to you in a moment how this can be done. But first, let's go to see the scenario that we are going to work on. So that is my scenario. As I said, on the Q3, you have to mark the packet. So let's, uh, we are going to work only on customer one. All right. So what we have to do, customer one, when we want to go to the internet, he will first open a connection. Then the first connection, which is coming from uh, the computer to uh, the call router, that is the switch. So it comes to the call router. The first connection, then uh, the uh, uh, router will uh, mark this connection. And he will say that this is a connection for upload. Then all the packets which belongs to this connection, so all the packets which belongs to this connection will not be checked. Why? Because the first packet which arrive to the uh, uh, with the connection, the first connection that is open, the first packet, this one will be uh, marked. So that's what we call it mark connection. So that means everything else will not be checked and marked anymore because every check and the mark every packet, then in this case, the CPU will go very high. So we just mark the connection. Once the connection is being marked, then all the packets will not be marked anymore. And we say that this is the upload. So this is the upload. So upload means on the mango rule, we call it pre-routing. Pre Routing. What does it mean pre-routing? That means that the connection and the packets which are coming to the router before they enter into the routing process. So here there is routing process. You see, they, before they enter to the routing process, so that's pre-routing, before the, uh, the uh, process uh, has started for the routing. And this is for upload. And we can assign to this upload speed. Now, once uh, the uh, connection comes back from here to the router, and then leave the router to the computer. All right. So also here we mark the connection as well. So all the package which comes after this connection will not be checked anymore. All right. So all those packets will not be checked. And then as you can see, it's download because you see the traffic is coming down to the computer. So upload going out of the computer down means coming down from this computer. So this is called download. And we use here the chain, which is called post routing. Post means after. So after the routing has happened, because as again, we said here that is the routing process. So the traffic came here and then after the, the routing has finished. So then mark this connection and mark the package and then assign for them a download. So this way we use the mango rules to be able to capture the upload and the download for the package for the upload and download, of course, and the connection. And then we assign for them a bandwidth. And then this way we can use the Q trees. So I know that at this moment is not very clear for you. Let's go apply it on the lab to see how this can be done. Point number one, do a speed test and check how much upload and download customer one can get. So I'm connected now to Ethernet three, which is customer one, but we have to not forget because I still have the simple queues from the old lab. So this needs to be taken out. So I don't have any more simple queues because we are going to work on Q3 now. All right. So let's see how much upload and download we have now. Let's open again and let's do the test. You can see I'm back to the maximum bandwidth that I have on my router. Point number one is done. Point number two, label the upload and download for customer one using Mangle. So we have now to work with the pre-routing and post-routing. Remember, pre-routing means upload, post-routing means download. So let's do that. We go to the router. And to first, before we start working on the queue, we have to mark the connections and the packets. So we have to go to the IP firewall. And we go to the mangle. I create a mangle rule. So first, I want... Pre-routing means the upload. 
So upload means any traffic coming from 10.10.10. .10 .10 dot uh, we can put here if you want dot zero slash 24 or you can just put dot two so any traffic coming from my computer which is uh, customer one that is the source address then the action is to mark the connection i want to mark the connection and i will call it upload customer one connection so i'm just now marking the connection so all the connections which are coming from uh, my computer they are marked that those are actually the upload so this is the connection but for the q3 you have to work with the uh, packets and not the connection so that means i have to follow that one with another rule also pre-routing i say pre-routing anything which is inside the upload connection uh, upload customer one connection as connection mark then action is to mark the packets and here you can call it upload customer one packet all right so that means what is happens here so the first connection that is open here it is being marked and then all the packets which are belonging to this connection they will not be checked anymore all right so this is the the second one so this is for upload now we have to do for the download we have to create another one and we have to mark also but first we have to put the chain which is as we said post routing after the routing is finished and the destination is going to 10.10.10.2 so again if we go back to the picture so now the router is looking on the traffic going to 10.10.10.2 so this is the destination. The destination is 10.10.10.2 now. All right. So post routing. And now we have to say here, mark the connection and we call it download customer one connection. Very good. So this is done. Let me check one more thing here. I just unchecked pass through. I will explain to you why I have unchecked it in a moment. Now, we, we mark the download for the connection. We have to mark the download for the package which are belonging to this connection. So I make another one and I will have to say here post routing. All the package which are part of the connection mark, which is download customer one connection, then mark them and then we call them download customer one buckets now why did i take out the pass through on the on the uh, marking of the packet and not on the connection so what pass through can do if this one it is being checked and it is fine then it will go to the second line which is pre-routing for the packet so if this one is being checked and it is matching then it doesn't go anymore to the third line and the fourth line because this is we took out the password so if it's checked it's matching it stopped going down through the sequence that we have over here same here if it's post routing then it is checked that is connection then it go to the second then it is checked and it match it is now the packets are being uh, marked then it doesn't go anymore down but actually this one doesn't have any rule after it so it's not important if you leave the pass through or you take it out very good so this is uh, done now we are you can see it's already the bytes and the packets are being increasing because we are marking their connections and their packets point number two is done point number three set the bandwidth for customer one to two megabit upload and eight megabit download using queuing or router or one which is uh, the q3 so now we have marked uh, those now we have to go to the queue and i'm going to use the q3 so they said eight mac and two mac so in total we have 10 mac so the first thing you need to do you have to create a parent queue i will call it parent queue and this parent queue here you see packet marks where don't put anything i would give it a maximum bandwidth of 10 megabit per second because we have 8 plus 2 that's 10 megabit per second so this queue it's a parent queue it has in total 10 megabit per second now under this parent queue 
so I will I will now name it like this parent queue customer one. So I know that this is for customer one. Under this parent queue, I have to create a queue for upload and a queue for download. So I'll create one and I will call it uh, upload customer one. So this queue has a parent which is parent queue customer one. You have to put it there. Now packet marks. So here we have to say upload customer one packet. You see the maximum limit, they said two megabit. So this is the two megabit. And now I'll say, okay, you can see now this is the upload is there. I will do the second one for the download. So download customer one, the parent of this one is parent queue customer one. The packet marks is the download customer one packet and maximum limit is 8 megabit per second and okay so now we have the upload and download limited and they are taking their bandwidth from this parent queue which is customer one very good so that's all what you need to do now we have another customer you do the same on the mango rules then you create here parent queue you put download and upload so this is how you can use the q3 Point number three is done. Point number four, do again a speed test and check if the bandwidth is being limited to customer one as defined in the quality of service. So now if I do the speed test, I should get eight on download and two on upload. Let's do that. So we go to here and then we try. Here we go. You see the download, eight megabit. And we can look here, look, the download is being now uh, making the color red, excellent. Let's uh, wait and see the upload. Are we also getting to, yeah, we are getting to megabit. Here we go. You see 2.8, but now it goes a bit uh, down. And you can see the upload is red. It's limiting and we can go inside of it. We can look to the statistics. Look, it is saying here average two megabit per second. Very nice, very good. So this is, as you can see, this is working perfectly as I want it to, to happen. And this way, this Q3 is much better, more advanced. And of course, you can do more things with the Q3 than you can do with the simple Q. Point number four is done. And uh, with this point, I have uh, showed you how you can use the Q3. And uh, there is much better way to uh, manage your uh, configuration for the quality of service. Again, if you are starting small, start simple Q. If you go a lot bigger, then Q3 can be a better option for you. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.